Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to S Sunday, yeah, Sunday, January the 2nd of 22. We're two days into the new year. So, using an old setup that I've used before on these windy days, on some of the craziest windy days, and it works out really well. But, uh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, it's 38 degrees, and this windstorm that was supposed to hit last night is just now hitting here the last probably 20 minutes. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd come out and say hey to you guys because uh, the downpour of rain is supposed to be coming here pretty soon. So Kelly comes in the house and she goes, if you're going to say hello to the peeps and do a good morning hello vlog or whatever in the morning, you better get out there. She goes, because the skies are looking angry out there. That is just going to be a big old blanket. It's just going to go shoom, all at once. What's going on, buddy? Huh? How's my buddy this morning? Oh, my goodness. You are a good looking boy. Yes, you are. The other uh, real fear when uh, these windstorms come is that you know we got old school exposed power lines coming up the highway that feed our power so uh there's a, always that likelihood of losing power but uh i'm prepared bring it on i got gas i got multiple generators i can go for quite a while <laughs> I haven't hard had hardly any rain but the wind whoo it's crazy out here. And uh, look how quick it's evaporating the snow. Very, very quickly. Ooh! A layer, that outer layer of the snow fell off of the barn. Oh, look, I say there's no rain. Now it's starting to sprinkle out here. Wonder if the barn out across the field there lost its snow. Yeah, that ring that, or the little layer Looks like the rest of it's probably just going to melt. Yep, it lost its too. Lost its big old overhang that it had on it. Man, that wind has been crazy out here. Absolutely nuts. Melting fast. So I've been out here, good lord. Probably an hour now. I rewired my um, camera in here. Oh, I left my flashlight and all kinds of stuff in here. Um, how come my dome lights didn't come on? Oh, <laughs> door's been open so long it just timed out. Anyway, I put that, the normal wire that runs through and ran it through and it's going through into the dash into a 12 volt hot um, keyed, of course. That one, I don't know what happened, the adapter, how I had it hooked up there, it wasn't working. So I kept getting a low battery warning and then sometimes it wouldn't, uh, the camera would just run until the battery died. Then it wouldn't come back on and it was weird. I don't know if I had a bad connection. It was just, yeah. I spent way too much time messing around with something that probably shouldn't have just done it correctly. So the other thing was I was sitting there talking to Kelly this morning and the wind's blowing and I was going, yeah, I was talking about, you know, we got gas and stuff. She goes, when's the last time you ran that thing? I go, well, like, oh, you know what? I was going to do it and I never did. I thinking, you know, I never drained that thing. Good thing I treat the fuel. <laughs> All right, let's, let's find the capitulator and uh, drain it and let her run for a bit out there. You know, I think I did drain this carburetor. For sure I did. It was bone dry. Turned the uh, pet cock on and sat there for a second, sat there for a second. I go, that's not good. And all of a sudden, whoosh, fresh fuel started coming out. So she was, she was empty. Just took a second, make it through its line and into the float bowl. So I was looking around. I thought this thing had a key. But I found a fob. I don't remember what I did. Smart throttle. On, off. Turn 
that cock back on for a second here. So we got run, start. I think electric starts from here too. Oh, it's got that goofy auto choke on it. Run, baby, run. What do you think, Danny? Because I ain't coming out here. I'll let her sit out here and get nice and roasty toasty. Oh, hot enough I can't put my hand on the valve cover. So, uh, we'll drain Ooh, Here comes the wind. Yeah, all this wind today. We're still under a severe wind watch. Need to uh, gotta be careful out here. Be prepared. All right. That's another 10 minutes. We're gonna let you sit out. We're gonna, we're gonna call it a call it an end. And I've got it on that uh, auto. Oh, it's starting to rain too. So I'm gonna take it inside here. Oh yeah, it's starting to rain. Good. Sorry there, little buddy. It wasn't my intentions to, uh, I just came in here where it was warm for a little bit and was goofing around and waited about 10, 15 minutes since I talked to you last. And that's when I went out and discovered it was raining out there. Let me get you all wet. I apologize there, old generator. At least you didn't throw any, uh, any shocks at me. <laughs> The little drain is down there and then uh this hose it just exit right right out the bottom right there you can see me touching it and it's wiggling the wire this is the vent and there's the drain at the bottom just a flat blade screw very similar to how a motorcycle does it then you fold yourself up a little tinkle pad stick her underneath there where she's gonna land on it where you at? You're right here. Yeah, that should grab it. It's an, oh, the stopper's in the way. Well, that'd be good to drain the uh, gas fumes on the, on the little rubber stopper. Now, that's in an angle. I can't see where it's at. I think I found her like there. Oh, come on. Is that it? There she is, see it draining out the hose? Look at that nice fresh gas. Look at that. Oh, she's, there's way more in it. Oh, there it went. You wanna get out of the cold? Come on, buddy. You might not like the smell in here. Oh, I thought them screws were captured. I must have just been lucky before. Like whenever I do something with the camera, it's almost like I got a, a little hat cam on. You think uh, the camera is following my head? Probably all the motor vlogging and stuff I do too. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this on here one-handed. Come on, gal, get on in there. Jesus, five o'clock already? What happened to the day? Don't be going to that door wanting out already. Danny probably doesn't like the smell here. Come here, buddy. Come on over here and say hey to the peeps. Did you have a good week off? Huh? Did you get lots of time inside and hanging out with mama? Hmm? She goes, yeah, I love my mama. Kelly, that is. She just loves this dog. You're just a good old boy. Rain must have slowed down, or you were hiding underneath your, your waterproof bush there, huh? Is that what you're doing, Danny boy? Doesn't that smell of gasoline bother you in the least, huh? He goes, not really. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he 
He goes, I don't trust you around these tools. You never know when something's going to make a loud sound. You're not going to go hang out underneath the MDX, huh? He goes to sleep so solid we've forgot him in there. Kelly goes, have you seen Danny? I said, no. He wasn't out there with you, was he? Um, yeah. And we come out here and... Usually by that time he's freaked out because you turned the lights off and you left. He's, you open up the door and he bum rushes you. It's good to have these things. Especially when you live in an area that you just never know what's going to happen. You know, the way our... Oh, all the controls are on the front of that. But this one's got the great big... Um, 240 set up. I don't, I don't think this one would. I don't know if... Our house in Silver Lake, I think it was a bigger plug. It was a 240 plug that went in it. We got a couple of ACs. And then the um, the little kit, little bag of stuff, manual and stuff that it comes with. A uh, DC plug goes in here so you can like uh, boost up your car battery. Say your car didn't start. These actually work for charging your car. You realize the car's down it's a it's only five amps but that's that's better than any the last car charger i had um ryan left it out under a car in the rain and it zapped it it was one my dad gave me back in the well he had it back in the 70s and he gave it to me but uh yeah she's a goner anyway so at five amps that's more than anything else i have for charging a a car battery you wouldn't want to hook that up to a motorcycle don't be confused with that here's your dc breaker should you blow there's your ac breaker should you blow and i didn't have that turned on but it's got this uh um smart throttle it basically when nothing's going on it just goes to an idle and then you can even charge your phones and stuff on there and what's cool about this is you can parallel this with another 3200 and you end up with a 6400. We got a lot of guys that do that with the Honda 2000s and 2200s. You can parallel them with another one. So they're very convenient and they, you know, it's like that Yamaha. They just go forever. And it's got this little cord that runs between them and, and uh, you get some crazy output then. Is that the reset for the for those or is that some kind of reset for the whole vehicle or the whole thing? I like how the this large 25 amp one has its own breaker. Which I guess it should. That's only 20 amps there. That's pretty you can run a lot of stuff off of that. It is absolutely amazing off of them two AC plug. You know it's weird. So it's got an AC breaker, but yet both of these have like a ground fault thing on there too. <laughs> that would, you know, work as a breaker as well. I like that it lights up. It's got some LEDs going underneath there and got a little dash. It tells you what's going on. And then you've got a little menu in here where you can reset your your oil changes and stuff like that probably reset a fault if it kicked a fault or something i don't know typical guy i didn't go through all the the manual like i should okay, he's remember i rigged up a battery tender lead on this thing <laughs> i kind of modified a vent and ran it through here i think i did that at work before i even brought it home didn't i or did i do that once i got home but anyway i've got one of those small um, like those little small plug-in ones right there in fact, all three of those are those small ones. I just got one of those hooked up to it. Got to keep them alive. It's a decent sized battery. It's about the same size battery like a CBR 600 or something would take in it. YTX9 or something like that. Ridiculous battery for a little generator. Hmm. Watch this. I bet he's, I bet he's underneath the MDX. You're not underneath the car, huh? That's okay. 
He goes, no, you're out here by yourself. You tend to leave me inside. You forget about me. Danny says, I ain't feeling no love about that. Oh, it's a 2002. I said yesterday it was a 2004. This one. Good old 1986. The only year they made it. Now, i that's a different tank. It's not a stock tank. This is a stock seat, but I don't have the stock red cover for it. It was on it, but it just literally fell apart when we first rode it. And then the one thing that's always missing is those off-white. All three plates are exactly the same. It's these off-white little number plates. And these are just some, these aren't Honda grips. The grips were destroyed. And they weren't even red anymore, they were black. Ryan and I, when he was here and he had that little, he had a little, no, it was an XR50 or a CRF50. We just romped around doing wheelies and that was so much fun. And after he left, that was pretty much the end. That thing's, as other than Kelly and I riding it every once in a while, she don't get a whole lot of love. Anyway, I'm rattling on. Let's bounce. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it is pouring down rain. 41 degrees. There probably won't be any white out there when we get up in the morning. No. I can see the front lawn and it's just, it looks like it's all green out there. Boy, that goes away quick, doesn't it? It does. It's fun while it lasted, though. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of crunching and beautiful snowfall and that was a lot of fun. It was. It was very pretty. Yeah, very, very pretty. But uh, tomorrow's an old back to the grind day. Yep. The weekend's over. Yeah. Hope you guys had a, when you look back, now that it's all said and done, you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Yes. That's all, it's all behind us. It's all, all a new beginning once again. Yep. We got another year for another chance. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. We do that. We gonna it. roll. Probably can't hear us with all this wind. Oh, I know it. It's crazy. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And we'll see you in the morning. See you at the crack old dark. Yep. Thanks now. Bye-bye. <laughs>